Hi Earl, I'm going to show you how students can upload their papers. All right, here I am in Intermediate Algebra, Online Intermediate Algebra. I'm about to build a module by clicking on Modules. Then I'll click on a module here where it says Module, the dark green plus Module. Click, and this is going to be a Module um, Week 16 final exam. Add module. Now I'm going down to week 16 and you can see I haven't published it yet. I just did. Um, I'm going to click on the little plus sign there and I'm going to make an assignment and call it new assignment. Upload your scratch work here. I should say for exam, for final exam. So there I go, and there is the assignment. Now I'll click and edit. See, once I edit it, the, the uh, title goes in. By uploading neat and numbered scratch work, you can earn partial credit for the problems you miss. Upload your papers here for five points. Now, I'll come down here, and this is where I set it up. Points five. Now, assignment group. If you haven't made an assignment group, this is where you get to make one. I have one. Assignments. Display grade as points. That's the way I like it, and that makes more sense to students. Um, submission type. On paper. Now, this is a group assignment. Well, let's see. External tool, online, no submission. Yeah, it's going to be online. So here's where I choose file uploads. OK, I knew something was wrong. Submission type you choose online. And then you choose how you want them to upload. Now I just said file uploads and I don't restrict it. Allowed attempts unlimited. Now this is their attempts to upload their work. Plagiarism review, I could care. Group assignment, I'll just leave that blank. Peer reviews, that's for the English department. This assignment to everyone, and it's going to be due September, September, December 18. That's the last day anyone can take a final exam. Done. And it's available until December 18. Done.
So I'll notify the students that way, but I'll also make an announcement. And then I'll click on save and publish. OK. Now I'm going to go back to module. I'm going to come down to module week 16 final exam. Upload your scratch paper for final exam here. Submitting a file upload. OK, now what students are going to see is start assignment and then um, I'll show you I'll show I'll show you what you will see as the teacher in fact wait a minute let's go to home and I'm going to choose student view and I'm going to click on modules come down to upload your scratch work here Submit assignment. This is where they go to upload their work. So they choose a file and um, uh, usually, usually, well, usually my classes are split. Half of them have downloaded the free Adobe Scan app and half of them just take photos and then upload the photos. But this is how they do it and you choose a file, you go to where on your computer, the student does, where, where on the student's computer did they store their files, and then they upload them. Now, where do they go to see their grade? Well, see, changes you made may not be saved. That's okay, I don't want my changes saved. Hmm. Oh. oh yeah, leave. Now I'm going to get rid of leave, leave student view. OK, uh, what now? Um, yeah, let's go back to modules. And I'm going to go to week 10 where the people uploaded their uh, exam two scratch work. To be able to see their work, I go to SpeedGrader. I can download all the submissions at once, or I can download each individual submissions. I prefer to do that. And now I have to start going through. There, look at that. Here's somebody who uploaded one heck of a lot of photos. Yes, they did. And so what you do is you download the photos, you click. And then you. See, how do I do? That? Ah, no, that's not what you do. That's what you do. That's how you download by clicking the down arrow. And here it is over here. And so you decide, you can grade it with, with these tools. Um, and you grade each page, and then you decide where to save it. Save as, that's what I do. I save it in a file, and then when I'm done, I upload all their files here. OK, um, and apparently I wrote a kind of a nasty comment. Oh, download submission comments. Normally they will see their papers here. So let's find somebody. Whose papers I returned. Yes, I graded their papers like I graded this paper. I don't want to. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to actually download it again. Um, 
but but here are the papers that I graded and uploaded. And then the student, I'm not sure where the student goes to see it. I think back here. I know where they go. OK, I know where they go. Where do they go? They go to. Home student view. OK, now grades. And I mean, given that that's a phony thing, you know, student grade. You, you can see how many zeros I have. <clears throat> but this is where they go to check their work. Upload exam two. And so the person got a grade. Is it missing? It's not missing. And so it's graded in, um, in the grade book. Oh, it's missing because it's me. Leave student view. But they can actually see their work by going to grades. OK, so we can do this together. I can even come over and help, although I'll have to make sure I'm not coughing when I do that. Um, OK, all right, I hope this has helped. And this is Barbara signing out. Maybe signing out. Yes, signing out. <laughs>